men's basketball team, they won their first game of the NCAA tournament. And last night, they sadly lost their second game to Gonzaga while playing in Spokane, Washington. As a town, Spokane ran out of room in their hotels. So the U's women's team stayed in a hotel in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. That's about 30 miles away. And that's where the team says they were the target of racism. Uh, head coach Lynn Roberts says it started when the team was walking to a local restaurant. Uh, they say a driver of a truck with a Confederate flag began spewing racial slurs at them. Then the same person brought along friends and then started following them back from the restaurant. All of them yelling slurs and rubbing their engines, throwing out the N-word. Coach Roberts addressed it at a press conference. Take a listen. For our players, whether they are um, you know, white, black, green, whatever, no one knew how to handle it, you know? Um, and it was really upsetting. And for our players and, and staff to not feel safe in an NCAA tournament environment, um, it's messed up. But yeah, that's what happened. And it was a distraction and upsetting and um, unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, that just makes you sick, right? I think that it still goes on. And, you, of course, they're there to, you know, play their sport and something that they've always dreamt about doing, and then they have to deal with that. That's a distraction. Uh, Coeur d'Alene officials held a press conference today about this, apologizing to the U and condemning racism in their community. People have been talking about this all day, and we went up to the U to hear what students had to say. Take a listen. I think it's sad because at the end of the day, racism is a taught behavior. It's not acceptable behavior. We're all adults and should be acting like adults. It's, it's terrible. It's, I mean, it's something that shouldn't be happening. It's like they're there to just play the game and have fun and also compete. Yeah, a lot of people are condemning the team and coaches for speaking out about this. Salt Lake Mayor Mendenhall says uh, the city supports them, also saying, quote, across history, women have been driving forces for change. Today is no different, and this team is made of incredible athletes who embody this. Yeah, so being commended for that, uh, very important, but it's just really sad that this determine. happened to them. And you all, I also am just curious, though, you know, they're supposed to be in Spokane, and right. I guess they were so far away. So far away. They, there wasn't enough hotel rooms. They're, they weren't even in Spokane. They were in another state. So, they, you know, they, I believe they had security, but it was the state of Washington security, and they couldn't go over, you know, state lines. And so that, there's a lot of questions I have for the NCAA, of course. A lot other questions well as the well, tournament was why? being held when there was a massive volleyball tournament so hotel rooms were already yeah. booked up and so there was just an overcrowding situation um they found them though once that incident yeah, happened though you know yeah yeah it, it's we'll have to see it's how this plays out yes. yeah we'll have to see how it all plays out but it is unfortunate still coming up on arc salt